This is a follow-up to my video, Understanding the Number I. And here's a few definitions and examples of what we used in the previous video. In that video, I took a needs-based approach to explaining the number I. I showed how complex numbers arose because of needs by mankind. Today I want to take a more geometric approach. So imagine our whole world is the real number line, which contains counting numbers, integers, fractions, and irrational numbers. And someone says, it's interesting that if you take the number 3 and you multiply by negative 1, you get to negative 3. If you multiply negative 3 by negative 1, you get back to 3. So multiplication by negative 1 is essentially a reflection in the origin of any number on the real number line. Then someone said, is it possible to multiply by something twice to get the same effect? And clearly that can't be any number on the real number line, it won't work. So someone says, well, let's imagine that we multiply by some sort of imaginary thing called i, an imaginary number i, and it's a rotation of 90 degrees around the origin. So 3 multiplied by i rotates 3 round to this point here, 3i, which is on this new imaginary axis. And then 3i times i again will rotate the number round to negative 3. So this gives us two rotations of 90 degrees, and that's the, essentially the same thing as a reflection in the origin in terms of what happens for numbers on the real number line. So it turns out that 3 times i times i gives you negative 3. So 3i squared is equal to negative 3. So i squared equals negative 1. So i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So if multiplication by i represents a rotation of 90 degrees, what happens when we multiply by 1 plus i or negative 2 plus 3i or 5 plus 10i? Well, the beautiful rule is that when you multiply complex numbers, you add their angles. Here's a really nice example where we have three triangles with angles A, B and C, and we want to know what's the addition of them. What's angle A plus angle B plus angle C? Well, this first triangle, if you were to put this on the complex plane, here's the origin. This point here would be the point 1 plus i, and then this one over here would be 2 plus i, and then this one would be 3 plus i. So if we want to work out the angle A plus B plus C, well, we can just multiply these three complex numbers and work out what angle we get. So here are the calculations showing the multiplications. And what do we end up with? 10i. Well, 10i is a rotation of 90 degrees from the point 1. So the answer is that A plus B plus C equals 90 degrees. Finally, I just want to prove what we've just seen, that if you multiply two numbers, uh, then the angles are added. So let's imagine we've got two triangles. This one is uh, distance r from the origin and is at an angle a, and this is uh, this second one is a distance of s from the origin and is an angle b. So we can repeat the same sort of thing. This will be the complex point, uh, what will it be? R cos A plus I sine A. And similarly for the second one. When we multiply them, here are all the calculations. You need to here use the double angle formula for cos and sine. And the end result is, you can see that we end up with a complex number. And the angle is... A plus B. So that just shows you that if you multiply two complex numbers, you add the angles.